going on everybody pj here i got into this and i wasn't even thinking i was like i bet man you'd love to see this uh i got that beam antenna from henry yesterday him and roger went in together and got me one they tried to surprise me i'm kind of i don't know <laughs> kind of had an idea so anyways we went up there yesterday and i got it henry is going to clean it up and everything and do all the maintenance and stuff and i'm glad he didn't because what i've got i've got to uh, all the boom the, well not the boom but the elements reflector and the radiator uh director and all that stuff that's what i meant so all that pieces are right here then i have taken the rest of it apart and i've painted the ends again just to make sure that i've got all this i could tell by the length of them which one goes where and <clears throat> I've numbered all of these on each side of the traps. So I've got the traps. Each one of these are numbered. I've got a number on this side, this side, this side. When I take this part of the trap out, I'll put a number on, uh, on one of these. Whichever one slips off. One of them slips off, and it looks like this when you take it out. So this is the start of the one. See all this stuff, bugs in there, spiders, little places like this. I gotta clean all these uh, traps up. So one of them slips inside of the other, so I have to mark it to make sure that I've got it going back in the right spot. So that way when I go to put it back together, that one goes in here. Uh, hopefully that's showing right on here. I've got this on the, the uh, selfie-ish kind of thing selfie ish not selfish uh, i'm gonna try to set this up and i'm gonna show you what i'm having to do here so sorry maybe you can get uh i still ain't got a i got my tripod but i don't have like a pivot tilt thing because what i found on getting these off you got the traps and like this so you gotta get these little caps off of them to get in there so what i've been doing some of i haven't had one that just comes off yet uh, all of them's on there pretty good so it's been taking a heat gun, and I ain't going crazy with it. I just roll it back just a little, get right down here just a little, or right down here just a little bit. And to be honest, if you have a, a Mosley or any other kind of beam antenna that has traps on it, it should be the same or similar anyway. So you don't want to go too crazy. I'm not getting this like super hot. I haven't had to get one like really hot yet. And I'll just kind of heat it up just a little. I can still touch it, just not. And that just stretches that out. See, this will get a little stuck right here on this little, this little piece right here. That's where it gets the stuck. So I just kind of mess with it just a little like that. And just keep kind of, I don't want to break these because I don't want to get no more. Like this one's actually probably about the most stuck one I've got into. Of course, that would be when I turn on the camera. So I'm just like watching here and I'm trying to see if this part that I just showed you is moving. Yeah, so now it's starting to come. And I'm pushing on both sides. I'm pushing, pulling with my fingernails on this side just a little and with my thumb on this side. So I'm not just doing one side and I'm kind of working it around. Try to get that before it cools back down. See, this one's starting to come off. And I just keep pushing until it gets to that point. Once it's off of there, I can kind of twist it. And these come right off and that so now let's do this thing <clears throat> i'm just going ahead and putting some heat to them because that seems to be working and like i say i'm not having to heat them up much mostly i'll get it right here so that little piece right there will kind of expand a little i don't want to melt it i got this on high but i'm not i'm not letting it sit long enough to really cook the plastic that and that's it i mean I, just a few seconds i mean it's not hot at all it's just warm you can see that one's coming right off yeah so that's what i found was working on that and once you take these traps like i say see once i took because i didn't know which one comes off you can't tell like that see now now that i've taken that black piece off this one was all the way against it so I could have marked it once I took that thing off, but I didn't know what I was doing at the time. 
about to burn my arm again. I'm already burnt it once. So now this one don't have a mark on it. So I've got it marked here. This one does because I could see it when uh, I was taking everything apart. So this one, I'm going to make sure I mark that one. So that way I know. So that's number five. Now you've got these two screws right here. There's one there, one on this side of the casing. And these are weep holes, so the water that gets in it can come out. And that goes on the bottom when you put it back together. Uh, like I say, I'm so glad Henry didn't do this because, man, I'm just sitting here. I put Rogers together uh, when he got his uh, TA-33, and I put his together. Uh, he helped me, and uh, we did it, but uh, neither one of us had ever done it, and I learned a lot there. And that's why as soon as I got this and started messing around, I was like, oh, I remember how to do this. <laughs> I was like, hey. Uh, so, learn a lot helping people. Now, hopefully these come out well, just like that. That come out really easy. So, and that one right there actually looks really good. Now, what I'm looking for, and I understand on these, is this little, this whole thing right here, this plastic piece that they use. I'm not sure exactly what kind of plastic it is. But I understand that they can break. And sometimes they break right where the coil is and it separates the coil just a little. And then you have to push these back together and glue them back together so that way your coil's right. So far, all of them look good. They just look like they need to be cleaned pretty good. Uh, see bugs in them. And I don't have any. The, the only one that I've had that really looks I had one somewhere. It had a little uh, oxidation on it. Might be this one. Uh, but they're not fusing the uh, aluminum together. Because if you actually look at these, that, or sorry, that's, the metal's not touching. So if those get fused together somewhere and creates a short in there, it'll change your tuning on the antenna real big time. So that's what you're looking for. Make sure that there's no oxidation. So this one's got something, I don't know if you can see that, that possibly could make it. You see those little spots? So that's what I, I got to clean all that out. Uh, I got to get some, I'm not even sure exactly what to clean it with. It's definitely going to be some kind of aluminum cleaner that'll get off that oxidation because that's an aluminum uh, wire. So that's what I'm going to be getting. Once I find out, somebody knows best stuff. Henry told me, and I can't remember, so I'll ask him again. Uh, but if somebody else knows something that's equivalent or better or, you know, just easily to find, you know, probably get me some cleaner and then some kind of a little nylon bristle brush or something and go to town on cleaning. But right now, I'm just wanting to get the uh, traps apart, check them all. I ain't gonna have time to finish this up today because uh, my son's in from college, so we're gonna come off easy. Boom. That's why I've just started doing the heat because <laughs> the heat, and this is the one, nope, that's not the one I gotta mark. Use this one. Yeah, see, they don't tend to want to come off without the heat. So I'm just going ahead and do it. And this is something that I haven't seen or watched anybody do. Uh, I'm kind of winging it. And I could probably get suggestions here and there that might actually help me out just a little bit. But man, I learned more from busting my knuckles <laughs> just like yesterday. I busted my knuckles good. Yeah, see, just that little bit of heat. It's just enough. Man. I mean, it's, you ain't even got to get it super hot. It's just enough. I'm just putting those in a spot. I'll show you here in a minute. I want to make this long. I got two more to do. Uh, so what we at? Nine minutes. I know people don't like super long, so I'll try to get through these. That way you can at least see the method that I'm using and that it's working. And you'll get to see if all these traps are good. So far, they just need to be clean. I haven't seen any that's broken. Uh, all the wires, just like this, these wires are still intact here. Knock on wood. 
So far, they've all just come right out like that. Yeah, see, like that one. That's good. I mean, really, they just you know, clean it up. Well, oh. didn't knock on wood. There we go. That right there. That one will have to be fixed. See how that's separated? And I'm not sure to the extent of how I'm going to get that back together, but Henry said super glue. He warned me. So I'll put super glue on this right here and find a way to put that back down. That right there, if I'd have just stuck this antenna up and been like, oh, I can't get this WRs right on whichever band. It would have been this one right here. And then I'd have to take it back down and do it. That's why I'm doing it now. But you got to see that. That's what a broken one looks like. We'll figure out how to fix it. <laughs> Henry told me how. Uh, just in while we was in conversation. Now that's got me kind of... Mm. That was one, man. I hope... I hope none of the other ones are like that. So far, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, so far, one out of eight. Not bad odds. But, and like I say, see, it don't, it don't take much heat. Look at that. I mean, I'm not even watching the plastic. I'm just warming it up. Now it's got me nervous to open these up. I shouldn't have said nothing. I sitting and said, if I hadn't have said nothing, man, I probably would have come out and it'd been gold. As soon as I said that, I definitely gave y'all something to see on what's broken. Because, I mean, it's a. <laughs> it's funny how that works. And everything goes smooth until you see it. But I'm pleased that the heat gun is working on this. Did I forget to mark? I did. See, I was running my mouth. And I know that this one come off of this one. So before I go any farther, so I was about to mess up. This is number eight. So that means that this one is number seven. That's when it come out of this side. So I got to mark it. got to pay attention to what I'm doing while I'm talking. So that's seven. Make sure you ain't missing none of the other ones. Uh, no, I didn't miss them. I was doing them while I wasn't talking. So while I started talking, I wasn't paying attention. And uh, we'll see. I'm hoping I get these all apart and check them all before time on the uh, thing gets on the video gets too long. Because I know for one, it takes me forever to upload one. And two, nobody wants to sit and watch 20 to 30 minutes worth of stuff. Okay, I'm about to do it again. So this one, that one's 10. Oh, there's another one. Two, what is that? Two in a row, man. Look at that. Two in a row. But, I'm assuming, oh, three in a row. Tag, no. Mm, got my work cut out now, man. Look at that. Here comes Roger right here. He's showing up at just the right time. Now, that is number 10 and 9. What's going on, Roger? I brought you something. What did you bring me? Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure the first hole is the CW hole. I mean, the CW hole. The second one is the final. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it'll be a little while before we get that far, but. Well, you get to see how I've taken this part. I'm making a video on how to do it. Well, and I've got, so far, the last three I've pulled out are all broken. <laughs> so. We will get to see how to fix them. Well, the uh, form is, yeah. I hope you can fix them. Well, that's what Henry was talking about that day. He was talking about how to do it. I know, yeah. Henry told me that's not a Mosley Junior. That's the real McCoy. That's the one like I got. It's a TA-33. Yeah, I know. it. They make a TA-33 Junior. Tell you what, this one looks kind of strange. A little crack in that plastic one there. But I don't know if this thing might have been got frozen, 
but aluminum's good. This little plastic one here looks different than the rest. It's kind of mushed in. Yeah. And looks like it's a little crack. It might crack this way. I don't know. Let's see. I've been two, heating these up. They make two molds. We T T A P M T thirty three. Yeah, see that one's cracked. At it's the, only good for twelve hundred watts, and they make a big amount yeah. there. Well, and I hope these ain't broken. Cause I just got what three out of. I said it. I was sitting there making a video, talking to the camera, and I got them knocked on wood. And I guess I didn't knock hard enough. Cause uh, let's see, I took that off before I did that. Number eleven. That's the one I didn't want. So that's that one. That is. Make a low power version of that antenna and a high power version. Yeah. We got the high power, and Henry's got the high power. Boy, these last ones, look at that. Yeah. Every one I'm pulling out now is broke. Wow. How do you feel? Every that? one of them. Wow. <laughs> so I got one, two, three, four, five. How do you fix that? Five. Five out of twelve are broke. Uh, do, can you fix them? Hey, we're, we're gonna have to fix them. Or it won't work. I know it. But See how much that spread? Yeah. So like that. Yep. You guys got to see it. I got. What I say? Five out of twelve yeah. broke. So. Well, at least it's not twelve. Figure now. them. Well, either way, I mean, I'm gonna have to fix them. So. I'm gonna have to get me some uh, good super glue and some thing. We'll see. If that's wild how they can kind of separate. Yeah, yeah, I'll figure that out. I'm gonna do it. But once I get ready to start, I'll video it. So anyway, I'm about like 17 minutes. So I'm gonna turn this off. So like I said, I was taking them apart anyway. I got everything separated. Now I have all of these out, just like that. Got my screws in here. Got my caps right here. You got your tripod. I got all of that. Yeah, I've got it. It just don't. Pivot or tilt. Say, hey, Roger. Oh, hey. Hey, hello, everybody. All right. I'm going to say 73s. Y'all have a good one. Uh, get ready to do something else and figure out how I got to fix these or figure out what I got to do. But anyway, y'all have a good one. AK4, PJ. Yeah, I'm just going to make a little video. I've got them. Okay. Wasn't yeah, too bad. Yeah, you're all right. You're all right, Roger. But show you what I've done. Roger was here with you. I figured it'd take me forever to do this, but it really didn't, did it, Roger? No, it's pretty slick. So basically, I just took this end. I looked to see which end was separated from the thing. All of them were the end with the longer thing. This was the same on each one. But you could see where the screw was, too, so it, this whole side would be up. So I put this in the vise here. I took this. I wish I had, like I told Roger, I wish I had something that was more plastic or soft, but it didn't have nothing like that. So it fits over that. And then I just took that hammer and tapped it. I didn't like pound on it. I just tapped it until it went together. And when it got close enough, I took some of the Gorilla Glue and put it on it. And you can see this one where it was broke was right there. You can see this one wasn't bad, actually. It had just moved let this one move away a little and I'll put it back so that's it now I'm gonna let them dry and find out what I need to clean them with and that's it all of them's back together uh, this one right here is probably the worst I don't know if that'll affect anything or not you can see I mean it's not horrible but We'll see. I don't think it'll really make that big of a difference. Because they're not touching. It's just kind of spun. And I'm afraid to put a vise on that and this end of this, each end of this and try to twist it any to get that coil back. So I'm going to leave that and call it kind of goodish. Uh, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I might have to do something with that. Because where that is, that whole thing needs to move back down. I can see where it's. So I might doctor on this one a little bit more. The rest of them, though, look good. I 
and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. The screws are in the hole, so this one ain't, though. I'm going to have to do something with this one that before it dries. All right, but I'll show you what I did. I don't know what I'm going to do to fix this one, but I'm going to try to just tap this metal end back down through here, back the reverse. So we'll try that. But just wanted to show you what I had done to, to get them back together. Now I'm going to try this one the opposite way. And I'm going to tap on this just a little, not much. Just a little. We'll see if that fixes that one. But anyway, y'all have a good one. <laughs> have a good one.